we're on to the E now. E stands for evolution or adaptation. On your notes, when you look at them, it's under adapt over time. So we can use evolution, adaptation. This is the section that we're going to be discussing. Okay, so when we talk about evolution or adaptation, what we're really talking about here is small incremental changes over a long period of time. Now, we're not really focusing on origin and things like that, but more likely we're thinking about how over the course of time, an organism changes to adapt to its environment. It's not going to immediately change. It's not going to decide, oh, it's cold, so I'm going to grow a, a big coat tomorrow. That's not what it's thinking about. But if it's living in a cold climate, each, sec each successive generation might have a thicker coat, might have a little bit more fur. A monkey that's moving to the tops of trees might develop a little bit longer tail each generation. So these are tiny, small changes over a long period of time that allow the organism to live in its environment more productively. The last one that we have is G. G is meant, uh, meant to be growth and development. It is very important that as a living thing that you are able to mature over time. I know in elementary school you talked about the life cycles when you looked at the egg and how it was able to grow into a chick and then to a chicken. These are maturity. It's going from the small, I guess, baby version to a more mature version of this. Growth and development is very important for the lifespan of a living thing. As we look at this, this is the characteristics of all living things. If it is considered a living biotic thing, it must have all of these characteristics.